Welcome back, I'm Saurabh, also known as SB Tron. Last video, you saw how to use the inspector to look into your rendering pipeline. This video, we are going to show you the tools tab in the inspector. Uh, the tools tab, you can access by clicking on the little wrench icon there. Uh, and right at the top, you have some tools for taking screenshots of videos. Videos are really great if you have animated content like the shark out here. Uh, the next one is the generate replay code which lets you generate copy-pastable code for the changes that you've made in the inspector. So for example, on this playground, I have defined a light and called it light one. I can go select that light in the inspector, light one, and say I wanted to make the scene a little bit brighter, so I bump up the intensity to five, maybe a little too bright. But if I want to then save this scene and keep it like that, I can go back to the tools menu, click on generate replay code, and that'll generate a text file with a line of code here because I just changed one property. Uh, and then I can just copy paste the, those lines of codes back in the playground. So the next time the playground runs, uh, it'll have all the settings that are changed in the inspector right in the playground. So it's a really nice way of changing things visually in the inspector and then saving all those changes back in, in into your code. All right, let's look at what other tools are out there. Uh, the scene export is really great for exporting out whatever you're seeing on the playground back out as a GLTF file or a .babylon file. Uh, if you ever are having trouble with uh, any loading any GLTF files, there's a great set of GLTF loader and extension tools out there. Uh, most of you will actually uh, just look at if you're having trouble with a GLTF file, just look at the GLTF validator tab here, uh, which uh, integrates the Kronos Group's GLTF validator uh, and lets you know uh, whether there are any issues in the GLTF file. Uh, this one's clean, but if you drop in a file and it doesn't look right, the first place you should probably look is over here to make sure it actually is a valid file. So that's the tools tab. Uh, we talked a little bit about what everything you can do out here. In the next video, we'll uh, show you how to call the inspector from your own code. Uh, so much for now. Hope you like the video. Consider subscribing and following. Bye.